And today I'm going to show you how to actually make a, a, an alignment tool that you can check out the alignment on your car. It's actually, it actually will be a four-wheel alignment tool. And I've got some conduit here. Um, really the pieces on the left are some new uh, just 10-foot uh, half-inch conduit. And the pieces on the right are what I used in the past. It's just uh, some conduit with uh, some string. And, uh, and I'll show you how this all uh, fits together and is assembled. And from there, I, I think it's pretty straightforward. But uh, using this as, a, as a, an alignment tool, this really the string type configuration, is uh, something that the race, uh, racing industry uses all the time. Um, if you go on down to any track and you uh, see uh, some of the crew looking at the, the alignment of the vehicle, um, they, they'll actually have some sort of a fixture attached to the vehicle and they're running strings along the side and they're checking to see what the toe in toe out is on, on, the, on their car. And uh, the, you know, if they even want to be more sophisticated, they'll uh, actually have somebody sitting in the car to simulate the weight of the, the person in the car so that it, it it uh, gives them the most precise setting of, of whatever the the uh, uh, alignment should be with a person, of course, weighing in inside the car. Now I've got these these pieces here, are just one part of it. I've got uh, some other uh, lubricated plates that um, that I'll be using, and I'll show those when I start doing the, the alignment. And uh, with this, you'll need four jack stands and some uh, magnets. Uh, the magnets really just keep th this conduit to adhere to the jack stand in a fixed position. So uh, there's a little bit of detail work with this, but all in all, it's a pretty straightforward technique. Once you set up your fixture, uh, it's pretty much done. And in this case, um, I'm going to do a little cutting on one of those pieces of conduit. And um, and I, I think it, it'll be, uh, again, pretty straightforward when... Uh, when I'm all said and done here. So, um, so with that in mind, I, I guess I'll get started and, and uh, start putting this thing together. Okay, I just want to quick show you where I'm at right now. Uh, you can see the elbow at the end, and then I have this thing, the slider. In fact, let me just come on up here. You can see it's a, these tubes. That's a 10-foot section, that's a 5-foot section. And I really just want to make this so I can adjust it to whatever length the car is. And if I needed to, I could swap out that 5-foot section here that I cut in half. Really, it's a 10-foot in half. And uh, make it for a longer vehicle. And with that slider there, this is nothing more than just a conduit holder. And uh, I've screwed it on to the, the pipe here. So that allows me to adjust this to any particular length that I want. Um, it's not important as far as what the actual length is as long as it, it's longer than the car itself and that the overall length matches. So that's pretty much it for this part. I'll, uh, I'll uh, proceed with the, the rest of the assembly. By the way, these are just uh, quarter 20 uh, bolts with a stop nut on them. Half inch conduit. These are like number zero hangers. And again, this is half inch conduit. So pretty straightforward, simple design. That's it for right now. Okay, now this is probably the most uh, critical part of the whole assembly. Is These are the two um, conduit pieces here that I'm going to be running the string lines. So it's important to make sure that you get these, these eyelets on each side. Take a look here. Uh, I've got, uh, these are 3 16 eyelets. I think it's like one and a quarter inch long. Uh, maybe even longer, I'm not sure. But anyway, you want to make sure that those are exactly the same length on both sides because if, if, if these eyelets don't exactly align when you run the string, then you're going to have a, an angle on your assembly and you want to make sure that this is in perfect alignment. So you can see here that everything is in perfect alignment here, so it's good to go. So if you ever, by the way, if you ever do uh, put these fixtures in a corner and you take them on out before you do anything double check make sure your alignment's right Because if this isn't right then everything else is going to be wrong So I'm ready to go ahead and put this thing together and go to the next step Okay, the next step is to put these little platforms on underneath the, the wheels. And so what are these? Well, I've got two pieces of, of plate here and you can barely see them, but there's two pieces there and um, they're 
uh, just grease in between the plates and I put those plates and sandwich them on of course, the, these wood uh, uh, pieces of plywood and the purpose of this is is that when you start to do your alignment you need to give the wheels the ability to move rather easily and um, the best way I found to do this is just to sandwich, put these, have these metal plates, they're like 12 by 12, sandwich them within three quarter inch plywood, jack the car on up and uh, put them down on top of it, or for that matter you can drive the car up on, on them, but if they're lubricated and you have a front wheel drive car, it makes it kind of a little bit uh, dicey, but, uh, but nonetheless you can do it a number of different ways. And, uh, e and even if you do jack it on up, uh, you'll get some wheel kind of like a, um, issues uh, because the, the tire will be kind of cocked when you put it in the air and drop it down but with these lubricated plates it allow it to float so you just need to push down a little bit on the car and it'll, it'll self align itself so the wheels are square and everything else is square so I'm going to put these on uh, next and then put the, the assembly together that is the assembly together for the, the alignment okay this gives you an idea of the entire setup uh, of course I've got my my elbows here, 90 degree angles for the half inch conduit. I've used uh, magnets to secure this conduit here to the jack stand and keep it from moving now that it's all set on up. Um, let's see if I can just uh, go on over here. Gives you another idea. I've got uh, jack stand right there kind of supporting the conduit. And uh, really you can't see it very well here. But if you look down there, you'll see my line. Now what I'm using is, is fishing line. Uh, fishing line is very, very thin. It, it draws a, a, you know, really, it's really good to be able to measure it. Um, so uh, I've got that on both sides. And the way I first start on out here is I'll measure right here. And there's, of course, going to be some issues that you really can't see with the parallax here. But what I'm doing is I'm measuring from a fixed point, you know, I'm measuring it from this side and I'm about six and a half inches on both sides. So I'm gonna measure from here to the hub and at the center of the hub and measure the distance from the, the string line to the hub I need to make sure that in this case I've got six and a half inches on both sides. And um, so I know that at least the back end is square with, uh, with respect to the, the, uh, the wheels. And then of course um, I'm going to do the same thing up in the front. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here. And this one uh, interestingly, it's a little bit uh, wider, so I'm um, about six and five eighths on both sides, and uh, it looks like it actually I bumped it here, so I'm going to have to re-align that. But again, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that on the front and the rear, that the distance from the, the reference point on your hub is the same from this line to this line on both sides. And once you know that, the, both the front and the rear, then you've got your string line, which is in perfect alignment with your hubs of your wheels. Then you can go ahead and measure off whatever the, the, the toe in, toe in, out is on your wheels and check that and, and you'll be spot on. It's Again, this is a technique if you go down to the racetracks, there are no uh, uh, service centers with the, the laser alignments that you pull your car up into for alignment. You, you, they do it all by strings. And this is a, kind of a crude uh, fixture. What they'll have is a fixture that's actually hooked onto the car, which makes the, the alignment of all this stuff unnecessary. But in this case, um, you know, you can use this, this jig for any car, and uh, it's essentially the same thing. Keep in mind, some cars have wider uh, stance in the, the, the width of the, the wheelbase in the rear. I guess you should say the width of the wheels in the rear is different than the front. But again, if you get to measure off from the center of some of the hub and you get that in perfect alignment, it doesn't really matter if there's differences in, in the widths of their, your front uh, wheels as compared to the rear wheels, that is the overall width of the, 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 uh, the wheel. Um, so just measure this on off 
And once you're set, uh, you're pretty much ready to go. If you have a sixteenth of a toe in, uh, you just align it that, uh, you know, uh, correspondingly, whatever the factory specs are. And you can see too, and I'm going to, since I have to line this, um, I mean, I can, I can move this whole car uh, on these rubber, or these uh, lubricated pads. This makes it great, so whenever you make your small adjustment in your alignment, you'll be able to measure it. Sometimes if, if, uh, if you don't use those lubricated pads, what it'll do is it'll move both wheels. If you want to just move one wheel, if you stick it on these lubricated pads, you know, you won't have any issue. It, it'll take care of all that for you. It's a, it's a big headache. So when you do make your adjustments, check both sides. Make sure that only one wheel is moving. And if it, if it is indeed the only wheel that's moving, um, then you're pretty much done. And, and, you know, why would you only want to line one wheel? Well, of course, if you have like a tire rod in on one side, uh, in the left side here, in this case, what I have is I've changed the, the uh, A-arm on the, on the right-hand side due to some ball joint issues. Uh, it actually failed inspection, so I changed it on out. I need to check the alignment. This wheel is in perfect alignment with the steering wheel, so I don't want this, this steering wheel uh, in the center to be at all disturbed. This one's going to remain fixed. All I'm going to do is check the other side, and then that's it. it. Again, if I've got all my strings and everything all set on up, I make my adjustments on these lubricated pads, you know, you're good to go. And I don't really think there's much to show here on uh, the front of the car. Uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You know, you know I just have, uh, you know, the... Uh, jack stand and everything all set on up here. Again, if I don't know if you can even see it here, but uh, you know, when I say these precious uh, metal magnets, they're pretty strong. You can even get the that guy right there. It's a precious metal magnet, so that'll keep this thing from moving once it's all set on up. Uh, it might actually be a little bit of a trick to get uh, in, in there and adjust it with with this fixture in a way. Uh, I'm, you know, and that takes a little bit of patience. And, uh, but I'm sure you'll be fine. So that's it.